Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Shanika Marie and I am a faith-based encourager here on YouTube. If you are new to my channel, if you aren't new to my channel, hey faith friend, how are you? I hope you've had a great week. So let's go ahead and get into this video because I felt a sense of urgency um, with this video. So I'm being obedient. If you hear something in the background, they cutting grass outside my apartment complex. So we just gonna ignore that and do what the Lord has called us to do today okay so the message for you today is the enemy is after your hope i'm gonna say it again the enemy is after your hope and the enemy wants you so focused on the physical thing that you can see the physical thing that just happened maybe it happened this week or maybe it happened this month the physical thing of maybe things not working out on your timetable when you want them to be done maybe um, it's a health diagnosis. Maybe it's a job loss situation or a change in your job, changing your schedule, right? And you have just been so distraught and frustrated and you don't understand what's going on, right? Maybe it's a breakup. Maybe it was something that happened in a friendship. I don't know what it is, but whatever that thing is, the enemy wants you to lose your hope lose your hope in a healthy relationship that it is possible for you lose your hope in a healthy friendship that it is possible for you lose your hope instead in stability when it comes to finances right he wants you to lose your hope the enemy wants you so focused on whatever that physical thing is that you don't realize your hope is slowly sinking as thing after thing comes up, right? Maybe it's not just one thing. There has been multiple things that have come up against you recently, right? And so your hope has been slowly sinking. And if that's you, I just want to let you know that I see you. I understand and I've been there, right? And the Lord pulled me out of some dark spaces, right? And I'm here to declare to you that this is not the end. God sees you and he, he sent me here to tell you, He's, the enemy is after your hope. And you should thank the Lord that, you know, that he loves you so much that he will send me on YouTube to, to tell you this so you will know exactly what the thing is, right? Because the enemy has had you so focused on the physical thing, right? So just give glory to God right now that he's speaking to you through this video. So as I was saying, he wants you so focused on that physical thing that you don't even realize your hope is slowly sinking. And this is how we fall into seasons of depression. This is how anxiety attacks come up, right? Anxious thoughts and not being able to sleep. This is how it manifests. It manifests in our body, in our thoughts, and you know, just our day-to-day -day lives, right? That slowly sinking is what leads to it. It's because, you know, our hope becomes lost. So my encouragement to you in this season is to keep your eyes focused on Jesus, where your hope should be in, not in things of this world that are fickle and can go away in an instant, right? Not in a job, not in a relationship, not in a person, not in a, um, a friendship. No, your, your hope should be in the Lord because he is the only stable thing, y'all. He really is. He's so faithful to us. And I just feel woo, my whole body is tingling because, like I said, I just felt this sense of urgency. So, of course, I'm going to give you some scripture and some practical things and then we're going to pray. OK, so um, as I was, you know, writing down, taking notes and listening to the Holy Spirit, the um one of my, my grandma, this is my grandma's, uh, actually her favorite verse. And so this is something I think about often. And I heard the Lord remind me of this today. And this is Psalms 121. I'm going to read it to you. I'm, it's, I'm going to read uh, Psalms 121. And it says, I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from here? My help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble 
the one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he watches over Israel, never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watch over you, watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. So that means now in your present and also for your future, right? Anxiety always has us in a spiral because we are so focused on what's going to happen in the, in the future. But my Bible says in Psalms 121, Verse eight, the Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go both now and forever, which means my present today and my future, right? So there's no need to be anxious because my God is already in there. He's with me now and he's with me forever and for my future, right? Whew, Lord, thank you. And as I was finding that scripture, another scripture came to mind. Um, and this, I just found this scripture today. This is Psalms 1, 120, and this is verse 1. I took my troubles to the Lord. I cried out to him, and he answered my prayer. I'm going to read it again. Psalms 1, 120, in verse 1. I took my troubles to the Lord. I cried out to him, and he answered my prayer. I don't know. Who this video is for, but I just want to remind you right now that the Lord will answer your prayer. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I know that he will. And I know that he's trustworthy because he's did it for me over and over and over again. And he will do the same for you. So here's some practical steps I want you to take. Number one to keep your eyes on Jesus. And you may say, Shanika, how do I do this? By reading, studying, and meditating on your word. And I'm going to give you a good starting point. You find some more scriptures on your own, but Psalms 121 that I just read, and also Psalms 120, verse 1. Psalms 120, verse 1. This is a good place to start. So keep your eyes focused on Jesus. And like my last, my previous video, the one before this one, I talked about having your go-to scripture and your worship song, right? This is how you keep your hope up, right? This is how we keep our hope, right? So number two, remember what God has done and how he has come through before. I want you to write down a list of the ways that Lord, the Lord has provided for you before, the way the Lord has been faithful to you before, because this is what you're going to need. So when times get tough, you can remember what he did before, and this is going to influence your hope that he will come through once again right? So number two, remember what the Lord has done before and how he has come through. Create a list, y'all. Put it in your phone, write it down in your journal, put it somewhere that you can see it. So when these stuff, this stuff come up, you can say, oh no devil, you trying to, you trying to, you, you're trying to steal my hope right now, but I remember how the Lord came through for my light bill. I remember how the Lord came through, through a word through my friend, through a word through YouTube. I remember when the Lord sent a stranger to speak to me, you got to open your mouth in this season. Open your mouth as the enemy is attacking you and hear how you come back. That's by opening your mouth and declaring the, the word of the Lord and also telling the enemy like, oh, no, we're not doing that. No, I believe that the Lord is going to come through for me again because from what he has done before. Right. Reminding him like, uh, uh, you're not about, you, you're not about to influence my thoughts because the Lord came through before this way and this way and that means he's gonna come through again right all right number three and then we're gonna pray number three is be grateful for what you have thank him for the things that you can see now and watch how this shift your posture right thank him for the house that you're living in now Thank him for the money that you have in your wallet, even if it's just five dollars, even if it's a dollar. Thank him for it, right? Um, thank him for the car that you have. I know you may want a new one, but guess what? He can provide a new one and he will, right? But thank him for what you have right now. What can you be grateful for? Thank him for the family that you have. Thank him for the friends that you have. Thank him for the connections that he recently made. Like, thank him for what you have now while you're waiting. Keep your, your posture in a posture of gratitude as you're waiting, right? So, yeah. All right, I'm going to leave you. Sorry, I, I'm not yelling at y'all. I'm just passionate. 
<laughs> just passionate because I just feel the Holy Spirit right now. And I just, I, I know I knew, someone had to speak to me like this when I was down. So now I'm doing the same thing for somebody else, right? And so I want to leave you with one more scripture and then we're going to pray. So Psalms 1, 130, and this is verse 5. I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I'm going to read it again. This is Psalms 130, verse 5. I am counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I have put my hope in his word. I have put my hope in his word. You can't put your hope on anything. You can't put your hope in the word if you're not reading it, right? You can't put your hope in anything that you don't know, okay? All right. Whew, thank you, Holy Spirit. All right, let's pray. And again, I'm so sorry for that excess noise in the background, but that won't, won't, won't gonna stop my obedience. <laughs> All right, so let's pray. Father God, I just thank you for your faithfulness. God, I thank you for how you are meeting people right now, Father God. I pray that now people will feel your spirit, that they will feel seen by you, Father. Not by me, but by you through my obedience, Father God. Lord, someone feels hopeless. Someone feels depressed. Someone just feels like, man, my life just took a huge hit. I don't know what to do. I don't want to live anymore, God. I pray that you will put this video on the phone screen, the TV, the 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 um, computer, the iPad, whatever they watch. I ask that you you will use this video, God, put it on their screen to remind them that they can put their hope in you, Father God, that their situation is not hopeless because they have a heavenly father whose love is constantly chasing after them, God, that they have a heavenly father who is so full of grace and mercy for them, God, so Lord, that has a great plan for their lives, God, that knew them before they were in their mother's womb, that we have a heavenly father that loves us so much and that you will meet us where we are where we are, Father God. So I ask that you will use this video to meet people where they are, Father God. And Lord, I just ask for your spirit to just be with them, Father God. Lord, I just ask that you will be with them, God. Help them to feel seen today, Father God. Help them to know that you love them, Father God, and that you have not forgotten them, Father God. So Lord, I just thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, for how you are just showing out even in my own life and in my family's, father, in my family's life, Father God, that you are our provider, that you are our protector, that you are our counselor, that you are the Prince of Peace, that you are the Lord of Lords, Father God. So Lord... I just thank you. God, I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for what you're about to do through this video, Father God. So Lord, I love you. And I just praise your holy name. And I just thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Amen, y'all. Amen. Like I said, I just felt a sense of urgency. So I had to get this video out. And if this was for you, as always, let me know in the comments so that I can be praying for you. Even if I don't physically write a full response to you and I love the comment, just know that that is me praying over you because I don't take this platform lightly, y'all. This is a spirit-led platform, this YouTube channel that the Lord has, has blessed me with and given me, so I don't take it lightly, right? So yeah, just know that I'm praying for you and I love you with the love of Christ and I will talk to y'all in the next video. Peace.